Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in guys, Sergeant Moose here, back with another The Texas Chainsaw Massacre video. In today's video, guys, we don't have any DLC news for you, no patch notes or anything like that, but to me, this will probably be the most important video I've made since I've been covering this game since the tech test on here on the channel. Uh, it'll be the most important video for me personally, and of course, most of you guys know that today is the one-year anniversary of The Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. That is right, guys. It has been a full year since this game has come out, and it's been pretty surreal that time has blown by that fast. And I think a lot of that has to do with, you know, we've been having a lot of fun with the game. This is a completely new experience to the asymmetrical genre, and of course it's one of our beloved horror franchises. Basically, in my opinion, I always say it's the one that started them all, and, you know, in terms of the slasher genre of horror and i don't think that's you know up for a whole lot of debate now if you guys know me and you've watched my videos i don't do scripts or guidelines or anything for my videos so in this one you'll probably hear a lot of you know incoherent speaking a lot of rambling repeating myself five or ten times over and over and i do apologize for that i'm working on that i'm working on that but <laughs> we'll, we'll get there at some point but you know I, th I figure the best way to start out this video is, you know, I want to share my appreciation for the game and the community over the past year. You know, obviously there's been some bad, but for me personally, the good within this game over the past year has trumped everything that's been bad. You know, we've all had these experiences where we've played video games that have been buggy or they've had issues, you know, and the devs working night and day trying to get the issues right. We've all been there with these experiences, especially if you've played multiplayer games. And I get that, you know, not everything that this developer team <clears throat> and publisher team, Gun and, you know, Sumo and now Black Tower, not everything they've done correctly. You know, they've mismanaged quite a few things within the game, but I also think they've brought a lot of great experiences to us as well. And to reflect on that a little bit, guys, I just want to give a big notable mention to Wes Keltner and Ronnie Hobbs. There are no two group of guys there in any developer team making horror games, and I am 100% sure of that, that has the passion that these guys do. You know, I've watched them in several interviews, you know, sometimes together, sometimes alone, and uh, just hearing their emotions whenever they talk about this game, and the characters, of course, they created on the victim side, and, you know, the backstories they've given everybody alongside Kim Hankel, you know, and added to the lore that we've already seen from the 74 film, it just goes to show me that this game just wasn't pushed out because it had the Texas Chainsaw name on it. This game was pushed out because this was a love project, a passion project by this team, similar to Friday the 13th. And uh, games like this, guys, do not come around very often. You know, usually you'll have a big publisher or a big developer slapping a name tag on something that's going to get them sales. You know, they'll do a few updates, and that's about it. Bare minimum at most. Maybe good gameplay, but bare minimum backstory and lore. This game is completely different. A very, very small team. Obviously, we all know that. But a very passionate team. And I believe it's carried them a long way. And it's made many of us fans happy. And, of course, immersed with these characters. But, you know, to kind of start, guys, going back to day one, of course, uh, I come from the asymmetrical genre uh, for the past nearly five years now. I've been covering asymmet horror asymmetrical games here on the channel. And to be honest, it was something that I never wanted to to do it was something i was never into i was never a fan of multiplayer pvp games in general i was always a fan of you know survival games <clears throat> single player co-op games things like that way way different than this genre now i have always been a horror fan my entire life a massive horror fan and a massive fan of you know this franchise and others that i've played and watched but uh you know gaming and especially covering gaming regarding that content never crossed my mind but i kind of got thrown into it you know with the likes of predator hunting grounds and dead by daylight way back in the day here on the channel that i used to cover a lot of course evil dead the game that i've covered too and you know after i played through those games for so long i was so exhausted with the games and the communities and all that stuff that i was just ready to move on that was, of course, until we found the teaser for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. And I'm like, oh my gosh, here we go. You know, it's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Whatever genre this game's going to be, I have to get wrapped up in this and I have to get covered. You know, I have to start covering content on this. Because I was in a place in time with my channel, guys. I didn't know which direction 
I was going to go with it before this game came out, of course. I didn't know the direction I wanted to go with it. You know, I uh, I was slowing down tremendously on it. I was losing, you know, the community that I had built in the past with games, including Anthem and Looter Shooter games and stuff like that, and Asymmetrical games. And I was just at the point where, you know, I was thinking, maybe this is just something that's not for me, maybe something I don't want to do. And uh, it was kind of just a sporadic spare of the moment type thing. When I would upload some videos or maybe do an occasional stream here and there, but... Something about this game, guys, that uh, ignited this massive spark fire under me that I have never felt, I've never done in this, you know, capacity of making videos and making content and stuff like that. Uh, for the past year, it's like every day I'm trying to think of how I can make some kind of Texas Chainsaw Massacre content, you know, whether it's a video or a stream or build video or news video or something like that. And it's, you know, not because, not for the sake that I just feel like I need to keep making content on my channel, but it's for the sake of the passion I have for this game and the studio behind it and the characters that are in the game. And I'm sure a lot of you think the same way. Uh, so it's more than just a game to me. You know, I, I, a lot of people think of it, you know, it's just a video game and I do too at times, you know. Uh, we shouldn't get too worked up over it. It's a video game and stuff, but it is more, in my opinion, than a video game. It's a, you know, it's a story. It's a, it's a film. It's a movie. You know, we have all these thoughts running through our heads of what we can make out of this game, how we can make this game go further, because it deserves more than just this video game with the lore and the backstories that Wes and Ronnie Hobbs and the rest of the team has put into it. Um, and I think that's what touched me the most. You know, I'll start back. You know, day one when the game came out. Me and my good buddy, the Evil Dead guy, good friend Bane, uh, Zimwella, Big B, so of course guys that you see me play with consistently all the time here on the channel. You know, we've all been in this together since the very, very beginning, way before this game even came out, way before the tech test, you know, playing our previous games. All we were talking about was we could not wait for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game to come out, and obviously, since I'm still playing it today... And we've been covering it all this time, and we've all been playing it all this time. We've been doing all kinds of cool stuff for the game. A uh, couple buds in the community making all kinds of cool artwork. We have Evil Dead Guy doing cool stuff with his, uh, you know, artwork and his channel and his fan fiction. And I think we all, it all gave us a little bit of something that we could create out of it to our own uniqueness to bring you guys in the community. And, uh, you know, just for that, I don't even, that's not even work to me. It doesn't even feel like work. It's just fun and it's passion for a good horror franchise that brought us all together. And that's the biggest thing I think I can take away from this game is, you know, the people I've met within the community. Of course, it's an asymmetrical game, so you're going to have some toxicity. You're going to have some annoying people, you know, uh, in different things like that that see it just as a PvP game and stuff like that. But for the for those of us that, you know, this game has a deep meaning to, I think uh, it's brought us together in ways that no other game really has. You know, I've made some really good, in my opinion, most likely lifelong friends just from playing this game. And it's, you know, deepened our relationships and we have a lot of discussions, fun discussions, man. And we're talking about this all the time. And this is just how this game is with us. And I know there's a lot of similarities here that, uh, you know, kind of are reflective of Friday the 13th with the community they have. I've even heard reports, you know, from Wes in the team saying that people have gotten married from playing Friday the 13th. That's just how closely these games will bring people together. You know, it's kind of like, you know, no pun intended, but it's like a big family when it comes to this game. And that's why I love it so much. So, you know, to touch on the anniversary, guys, of course, again, as we talked about the one year anniversary today, this game currently is probably at the worst state it's been in you know since since launch with this new patch i think we all know that for a lot of folks it's kind of unplayable there's a lot of issues a lot of bugs a lot of things going on and of course yes that's a problem um i feel like the team maybe could have went about this issue a little bit differently i don't know what's going on you know behind closed doors with the team and stuff so i don't want to speculate but I don't think any of these problems, even still today, take away from everything this game has given us over the past year. And I feel like a lot of people lose that, right? They're kind of caught up in the moment. Now, now, now. What's now? Uh, you know, we need the best product it can be right now. But, you know, I'm all about, I don't know, maybe I'm old school, but I'm all about memories, man. And I look back for the past year. All, you know, some of the bad things, you know, with the cross-play and stuff at launch. And, you know, some of the weird balancing issues and stuff. I don't even think of that stuff. I don't think of that stuff anymore, period. I only think of all the good times because they way more outweigh 
everything that we've seen, you know, in terms of all the negativity and the bugs and stuff with the game. So, you know, I just kind of wanted to make a point there about the anniversary, guys. I wouldn't get too bent out of shape on, you know, the state of the game right now with the anniversary because we all know it's going to be fixed, right? We all know it's going to be fixed. How soon exactly, we don't know. But we can all be sure it's going to be fixed. So if we, you know, sit tight for a little bit, you know, and enjoy this anniversary and the product that has been brought to us and the fun we've gotten out of it. I've played over 2,000 hours in this game, man. We're, you know, we're approaching 10,000 kills in this game. Uh, you know, issues like this at this point aren't going to override the fun that I've had in it. So I kind of just wanted to, you know, just kind of mention that. And here we go with the rambling again, guys. I already told you it was going to be a lot of incoherent rambling. But this is all stuff off the top of my head and stuff that I wanted to you know, bring out to you guys because I felt it was deserving for me to bring a video uh, to you guys regarding this. But I just wanted to let you know, this game to me is more than just playing a horror video game, guys. This has reignited a content creation spark in me. Uh, it pushed, it propelled me forward. You know, I was going through a lot of rough times, uh, not just in content creation, but throughout life. And it's just nice to kind of unwind at the end of the day. Get together with your buddies, man. Talk some shit. Have some fun. Play some games. And that is exactly what we do. Reminisce. Talk about horror, man. Who doesn't want to do that stuff if you're a horror fan, right? So uh, I have no animosity, no negativity toward the developers or this game. In you know, in all honesty, I just want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you to them for bringing what I would say at least, you know, for the games I've played throughout my lifetime, is the perfect video game. And not just because of the genre and the setting, but because of, you know, the folks that I've got involved with and the fun we've had, so. But without the fear of, you know, stumbling over my words or saying, uh, a million times throughout my videos and, you know, rambling about, you know, things over and over and over again, as I'm currently doing, I just felt like I needed to make this video because all of my videos, guys, I feel, in my opinion, have been, you know, more professional videos, of, you know, builds and patch notes and all that stuff, but never really expressing my emotions onto this stuff. You know, I always listen to other people, whatever they're express expressing theirs, but I actually wanted to come out and use my platform and express how I'm feeling when it comes to, you know, the gaming, just gaming in general and what this game has done for me and, you know, for the people around me, the circle around me that I play with and have fun with. And, of course, you guys in the community, man. I, Another community, another horror community. Every time I stream this game, you know, I see something different with myself when I'm streaming than I see with a lot of other streamers. And this, this is no knock to anybody or anything, but I feel like I'm one of the few that whenever I stream this game, I do it differently. I present it differently, right, whenever I play it. I I am competitive when I play, but I'm not overly competitive to where, you know, it's just flooding every other thing I'm trying to do on my stream. I, I feel like whenever I stream, my streams are about coming in, having horror discussions, talking about cool stuff that we all can get behind within the horror community, having fun with friends, having some laughs, and making memorable moments and discussions. That is exactly what we do here on the channel, and I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud of that because I worked really hard you know, over the past few years to build up something like that, guys, and it does not stop here. It does not stop here. Of course, I hope this game lasts forever. I really do. I hope it lasts beyond my existence, but we can't guarantee that. But one thing I can guarantee is that with or without this game in the future, them discussions, those community discussions with you guys and friends and having a good time, that never stops. That never stops. It only gets better. And it's only going to get bigger and better. So, that's uh, that's it, pretty much it for me, guys. I'm sorry I have a horrible time sometimes whenever I'm getting into, you know, my thoughts and all that stuff and have a horrible time kind of projecting them out. But, you know, I hope you guys get the point <laughs> from this. But the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, guys, one-year anniversary. Happy anniversary to the game. A little bittersweet, maybe. More sweet than bitter, in my opinion. But just know, guys, the content is just beginning here on the channel. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me, thought, let me know your thoughts down below. Negative, positive, it does not matter regarding the game, the game's anniversary. But yeah, that's the video. My name's Sergeant Moose. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys on the next one.